Hey guys, Drifter here. This is my Modern Warfare 3 wishlist, or kind of a collection of things that I really liked from Modern Warfare 2, and some real things that I really hated from Modern Warfare 2 that I hope never end up in any Modern Warfare game ever, and I hope Infinity Ward takes the time to listen to this short little video, although the odds of that are incredibly low. If you want to know the things that are for sure going to be in Modern Warfare 3 and confirmed and all that stuff, you need to check out mw3info.com. The link is down in the uh, descriptions. That's kind of like an aggregator of all the stuff that's in the game. I don't keep up with it that well, but if you need to know that's where to go. First up, I really hope they keep some form of dual wielding. It's doable in Modern Warfare 2, but it's very difficult. They make it extremely close range only, but I can kind of make do with the P90 and their huge stock and stopping power. Or you can also do it with Akimbo uh, UMPs just because the damage is so high. I like dual wielding. It's fun. It looks cool. Not terribly realistic, but as long as you keep the range down, not yet, yeah, yeah, the range down, it's, uh, it's doable. It kind of fits into the style of the game. If they added a nice little gun like the Scorpion from Black Ops, that would be amazing. As a matter of fact, I really just hope they have the Scorpion in it, period. I love the Call of Duty Modern Warfare, or COD 4 Scorpion, and it would be excellent to dual wield it in a Modern Warfare game. Unfortunately, all I have is P90s and umps in this one. But speaking of uh, umps, I really love the UMP45 in this game, just because it was, uh, well, I would say this game had stronger submachine guns than Black Ops, and stronger than a lot of the ones in Call of Duty 4, with the exception of the Scorpion and the MP5 Navy. But you need to have a submachine gun class that can keep up with with assault rifles. In Black Ops, they made them very, very weak. They didn't do very much damage. The recoil was extremely heavy. The reload wasn't that great. There wasn't a whole lot of benefit in having submachine guns, with the exception of maybe the 7.4U or the Scorpion, or maybe if you're feeling squirrely, the MP5, or m most people feel squirrely about the Scorpion, because that's a big love-hate kind of thing. But this game, they added the UMP45. It's a three-hit kill at any range. It has reasonable recoil. The iron sights are blocky, but usable. Well, yeah, blocky, but usable. Reloads pretty easily and you can really rack up with it. I hope they keep this style of submachine gun. This one only seems overpowered because the other ones don't really compete with it. But even in Modern Warfare, I mean, the P90 is good, the Uzi is good, the MP5 I really hate. That's garbage. I hope they re really, really hope they bring back the MP5 Navy. I also hope they keep the FAL, the M14, or some sort of a semi-automatic accuracy rifle. I know you guys are probably going to give me lectures about my trigger finger being slow or that sort of thing, or I need to play more aggressive. That's not why they include semi-automatic assault rifles, and that's not how I like to use them. I like to use these like extreme accuracy rifles. If I'm going to use these, I'm only going to shoot one or two shots at a time to conserve my ammo. This one here, I've got stopping power on, and I've got the red dot sight, which increases the damage on this particular weapon only, so it's a two-hit kill at any range, and I can use it to really, really tear people up. As you can see, they're not that great close range because you can't spray with them, but they work very, very well. The M14 was an excellent addition to Black Ops because of the recoil. Hell, I love the COD 4 M14. That thing was beefcake. When you put stopping power on it, you could one-hit kill people up close. That is the accuracy rifle that I like. However, if you miss, you're pretty much screwed. So it's it's a give-take, love-hate thing. We need something badass to balance out from all the sprayers out there. This one just has a much cooler, more tactical feel to it. If I were doing an MLG super try-hard gameplay, maybe not, but this works really well when you're pub stomping or when you just want a nice change of place. Like, like you feel like a total badass when you just sit there it just gives you a really satisfying kind of feel, or at least it does for me. I don't know what it does for you guys. Maybe you guys just like to run around spraying. Speaking of the one-hit kill weapons, I would love to see there to be a nice ACOG sniper rifle like the WA-2000. The WA-2000 in this game has a little bit of wobble on the scope, which I really don't like, but I can't remember the name of the sniper rifles, but a lot of them worked really well with the ACOG scope in uh, Call of Duty... Four, yeah, COD 4. ACOG uh, WA-2000 is probably my favorite in this one because it shoots really fast. You can also do the Barrett 50 cal, but the kick is ridiculous. In Black Ops, you can do a little ACOG WA, but it's not as effective without stopping power. And to be honest with you guys, after playing this game... I really don't miss stopping power. Stopping power really started to piss me off in this game, or maybe I just got too used to Black Ops where I could take one, two, three hits and keep running. Everybody in this game was dropping me really, really fast with stopping power, and I would normally say that's a good thing. I would say it's good to have realistic weapons, and I think that's awesome, but unfortunately, I think they're going to kill me Yep, right after that happens. I die, but I still get the quad and the uh, emergency airdrop. 
Oh, yeah. uh, moving on to my alt other alternative sniper rifle. I hope they have something a little bit goofy like this. Uh, I did not get an emergency airdrop with this one. Uh, that's because after I got this little clip here, I got a little frustrated and uh, turned off my capture card. And as soon as I did that, I started doing awesome, but that's how it goes. What was I blabbering about? Oh, yes, yeah, stopping power. When you have stopping power as a perk, especially the one of the uh, awesome like tier 1 perks, I guess is what you would describe it, it kind of screws up because nobody uses anything else, and if you use anything but stopping power, it feels feels like an extreme handicap. It feels like you have squirt guns that don't really do much damage. So you either need to have really awesome accurate weapons or you just don't need to have stopping power. Moving from the RPD to the AUG here, I know that the RPD is statistically superior to the AUG only because they have identical every single thing imaginable except for the fact that the iron sights are different and the AUG has way more bullets. But no, sorry, not the AUG has way more bullets. The RPD has way more bullets. But at the end of the day, I really like the AUG. I love the iron sights on this weapon. I love the noise it makes. I love how it kicks, even though I know it's identical to the other gun. It just has this awesome feel to it. And I hope that they keep this style of weapon. It feels accurate. It feels like you can kill people. It does damage the... Uh the way the bullets ding in your ears is uh, satisfying when you hit people and you don't have to spray forever to drop somebody. Hell, even if you put a silencer on this weapon, it's still ridiculously deadly. And that's something I'd like to pre see preserved. Black Ops doesn't really have that. All the weapons feel like squirt guns because you have to pump so many bullets into somebody to kill them. Uh, you know, I'm using stopping power here. But if you just make the weapons more accurate, you can do this. Because I've been playing Black Ops a lot and all the assault rifles kick directly to the side or up and down or wobble around which is probably a more realistic way to depict how an assault rifle is going to work when you go full auto with it, but in this sort of game, it makes you just feel inaccurate as fuck. This was my favorite assault rifle from uh, Modern Warfare 2, the ACR. It probably did the lowest damage and lowest damage per second, if I remember correctly, but it was just so unholy godlike accurate, I could kill people. It didn't really matter what the damage was as long as the weapons were accurate enough for me to shoot. That's where some of the Battlefield games get really frustrating for me, because they try and balance these weapons with these weird uh, bloom reticles, and I know that if in real life you gave me this weapon, I could shoot better than I could in Battlefield, or occasionally here in Call of Duty, but they try and balance them and nerf them and drop the range, like your shotgun bullets disappear and that sort of stuff. But they didn't do that here. Uh, or, well, th they didn't drop the shotgun bullets. What I'm talking about, they didn't add ridiculous uh, recoils or blooms and stuff to the assault rifles. The hip firing was a bit rough, it should be, but when you're aiming down sights with your assault rifle, Pretty much every single one of them is deadly. I can't think of an inaccurate assault rifle in this game offhand except for the F-2000. The F-2000 is a just a big wasted heap that's inferior to just about every, actually to every single submachine gun in the game except it reloads slower and does less damage. And Yeah, inferior. There's pretty much nothing better about the F-2000 that I can possibly think of. But they need more guns like the ACR, like the SCAR-H, like the M4A1, uh, the FAMAS and the M16. And this is one of the reasons that I really, really, I'm probably never going to play this game again. Everybody danger close, one man army noob tubes. I hope, I know there's going to be balance issues. There's balance issues with every game. Every game has problems. It's difficult to do this. It's mathematically impossible to keep people from being ingenious. But this is frustrating. I was trying to get footage of the shotgun to say, yeah, I hope they have shotguns that are as awesome as the spaz, but I hope that they're not secondary. Uh. Ooh, that came from nowhere. Secondary weapons, they need to be primaries because they're so cool. But I couldn't do it. Three games in a row, three different teams, not just this map. I backed out every single game because it was frustrating. One-man army, cold-blooded pro camping, or noob tubes, just constant noob tubes. Constant, constant, constant noob tubes. Three games in a row, I had over 90% of my deaths just from noob tubes. It got really frustrating, and I just cannot play Modern Warfare 2 when this is all that happens. It drives me absolutely fucking lootly crazy and this will probably be one of the last Modern Warfare 2 videos you see from me just because I absolutely cannot stand all this noob tube action. It's just total bullshit.